हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन शेयर्स एंड डिविडेंड नाउ एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट द लैंग्वेज प्लेस अ मेजर रोल इन दिस चैप्टर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ट्राई टू डिस्कस दिस कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन नाउ विवेक इन्वेस्ट रुपीज फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड इन एट परसेंट कॉमा रुपीज टेन शेयर एट रुपीज फिफ्टीन द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट इज दैट विवेक इन इन्वेस्टिंग रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ विवेक इज रुपीज फोर फाइव जीरो जीरो इन एट परसेंट दैट मीन्स दैट वट एवर ही इज इन्वेस्टिंग ही विल नॉट गेट एट परसेंट ऑन द इन्वेस्टमेंट वाइल ही इज गेटिंग एट परसेंट एज द डिविडेंट and definitely the dividend he is not getting on the investment but the dividend he is getting on the company value of the shares now the company value of the share is rupees 100 at rupees 15 that means he is getting the share at rupees 5 premium the rupees 10 share he is getting for rupees 15 so this investment 4500 is for rupees 15 per share and the company value of those shares is the number of shares multiplied by 10 and the total dividend he is receiving is on the company value and not on the market value so the first statement goes like this the number of shares vivek is purchasing is rupees 4500 the investment upon the value on which the company is giving the share that is rupees 15 so he is getting 300 total number of shares as the investment on rupees 4500 now with this number of shares because the company value is rupees 10 so the company value of 300 shares is 300 multiply by rupees 10 that is rupees 3000 like vivek is investing rupees 4500 but the company is taking that investment as rupees 3000 so the company will pay this 8% dividend on rupees 3000 and not on rupees 4500 so the total dividend vivek is receiving in the first case is rupees 3000 multiply by 8% the dividend and this comes out to be rupees 240 so in the initial case vivek is just getting a dividend of rupees 240 from the first line itself now he sells the shares when the price rises to rupees 30 now vivek has purchased the share for rupees 15 but now the market value of that share has increased to rupees 30 so the total number of shares if he sells now then the total proceedings or the total money he gets back is number of shares that is 300 multiplied by the market value of one share as on today that is rupees 30 so the total money he receives back is rupees 9000 or the total proceedings the total uh, investment which he invested rupees 4500 has become double now and that is rupees 9000 now he invests the proceeds in 12% comma rupees 100 shares at rupees 120 that means that the company is paying a dividend of 12% for every one share of rupees 100 but now the value of one share is rupees 120 so when he is investing rupees 9000 in the shares where the market value is rupees 120 so again the number of shares 
Now Vivek can purchase of this denomination is 9000 the total investment upon the price of one share that is 120 or we can say 75 shares if we cancel it out. So we can say now when he is investing the proceedings in this he is purchasing 75 shares. 75 shares he is purchasing at the rate of 120 but again the company value of these shares these 75 shares is 75 multiplied by 100 and that is rupees 7500 but the proceeding he is getting is the 12 percent dividend so on this rupees 7500 company value he will get a dividend of 12 percent so the total dividend now the vivek is receiving is 12 percent of rupees 7500 the investment in the company as of now if we calculate this it comes out to be 900 rupees so we can say that now whatever the investment he has done that is 9000 whose company value is 7500 he will get a total dividend of rupees 900 as the annual income on these shares now if we look at the three parts the first is the sale proceeds the sale proceeds means the number of shares which he is selling now we know that he has already purchased 300 shares and he is selling one share on rupees 300 so the total sale proceed is 9000 rupees so for the first part the answer is rupees 9000 the second is number of 120 shares he buys we already know that 9000 rupees is the number uh, amount and 120 is the price of one share so the total number of share he buys is 75 the third part is change in his annual income from dividend we have already calculated the dividend in the first case and we have calculated the dividend in the second case in the first case it was 240 in the second case it is 900 so the annual income the difference in the annual income is 900 multi minus 240 and that is coming out to be 660 rupees so in this way we can say if he buy a share gets the dividend he wants to change the share sells it again gets another share getting another dividend so he can calculate that which is a better investment from his point of view and this way we can calculate the questions based on shares and dividend thank you very much